Okay, I just picked that coffee cup up off the ground. The wind had blown it onto the ground, and um, guess what was hanging around on the coffee cup? That there's a huntsman spider. It's only a little one. I don't like it. We don't get the huntsman spiders into the house in the way that we used to. Uh, I sealed up the windows in a different way, but I know one way of dealing with these spiders, and it's the way they like, is with me little Dyson vacuum cleaner. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed, and this video is highly educational. If I'm fast here, and if the spider can't count, I'll be able to nab this little girl. Okay, in three, two, one. And... I believe I've got her! Woo! Let me do a bit of a Huntsman Dyson Flomo Spinner! Ooh, yeah! Spin, spin, spin! Spin, baby, spin! And of course, the big question is, has the Huntsman been knocked out by that wondrous Dyson power? Let's take a look and see what's happened here. If I go like that, my crikey Charlies, that Huntsman's in pieces. What did I learn here? Well, like a nab a spider of that using insecticide, it would have potentially crawled into one of our cars, causing spider fright, and that can cause death. <coughs> our spider's down, and we learnt, of course, the wondrous power of the Dyson vacuum cleaner. I hope I can put this back together and I can. Now because this spider wasn't done by insecticide I can use it to feed another friend in the garden and I'm going to do that right now. I've set up these wondrous traps to get redback spiders or make them comfortable living in a certain spot. I know exactly the sort of environment they like. I certainly know there's a redback spider in here. Okay yes she's still in there. And this may seem a little bit strange, but I'm going to feed the Huntsman Spider here to the red back. I'm not sure whether she'll pick up on something that's already been nailed, but I'll have a go. And I'll just carefully bring the Huntsman in there with this little girl, the red back. And she may enjoy having a bit of a feed there. I'm pretty sure she'll pick up on that and have a wondrous feed. So there you go, one spider's had a bit of an unlucky day. The other one's had a very lucky day, that is the red back. I'll put this red back home, back together. You can see the red back web flaring in the sun there. There are magnets that hold this piece on, and it is an absolutely stunning way to uh, basically know where your red backs are living. And she's got a wondrous huntsman meal there for tonight. I know, I know you're going to say, but Leo, those wonderful huntsman spider legs, what are you going to do with those? Well, they can also feed the critters in the garden. And I've got an example of those uh, going on right here. And I reckon if I put the legs down here, in no time, we'll have a feeding frenzy. Well, it's something that I know that once ants realise there's a meal around and an easy meal, it's not going to take very long at all for the signal to get back to the nest, and there'll be an ant frenzy going on here. I should also explain, we had new windows put into our house at great expense. Hey, notice my road reflector collection going on there? Very nice. I do a lot of walking, so I find a lot of those. And apart from getting the new windows in, I also sealed up this area here and I think that's really stopped the huntsman spiders from entering our home in the way that they used to. I know you'll ask about the road reflector collection there, it's about two years old and really I started to pick up one or two and then I can't stop. The ones which I like and they're the hardest ones to grab are the hydrant ones. Okay, so that indicates where there's a hydrant I think. I think the fire brigade put these ones down but maybe I'll be corrected. And these are the, the most common ones. Uh, I don't pick up many white ones, and I also don't pick up many red ones. While I've been yabbering on about those, I've noticed something spiderific up there. And we'll take a closer look at what's going on there. Okay, let's take a look at this spider nest here that's an X sex which I've opened. I think that's a great house. Oh my goodness me! Sorry, I just scared myself. I'm pretty certain that's a great house spider. The spiderlings are all starting to fall down. Aren't they cute? Um, that's a spider I like to keep around because where these guys are, the redback spiders tend not to be, so these ones are my friends. Oh, I've just picked up a whole stack of them on my hand here. Maybe I can distribute them through the garden. Yes, yeah, so I think that's a great house spider. I call it a cement spider. They're a good one. I like them. Well, I'm very disappointed. The ants have not turned up. The huntsman spider legs are still there. I think they've moved a bit. I'm very perplexed why the ants have let me down. But while I was waiting for the ants to appear, oh man, apart from seeing the grey house spider nest, 
I saw this most amazing thing out in the backyard. It will be a separate video, and it involves a St. Andrew's Cross spider. Completely and utterly awesome what I witnessed. It's stuff that I've not seen before from the spider realm. And initially, I had to try to understand what I was looking at. But once I looked at it long enough and I could see the dynamic of what was going on, I started to fully understand what was going on, and it's awesome. And it will be an upcoming video, I hope. That is, if YouTube treat me nicely. But unfortunately, these days, that rarely ever happens. As I so often say, Australia's not for everyone. Just picking up a coffee cup off the ground can end in some serious spider fright.